My husband died in 1981 at age 52. He died in his sleep and an autopsy showed he had no heart disease. There was nothing wrong with him. He was a healthy man. In 1989, my oldest daughter, Connie, who was 32 at the time, also died in her sleep. And again, the autopsy showed nothing. They said it's a fluke that it happened twice in one family. And I just thought, some fluke. Then, just uh, not quite three years ago, Connie's youngest son, Noah, died at age 22. And again, he was a healthy young man. There was nothing wrong with him. You don't know who might be next and when with this stuff. It, there's no warning. We went through years of going to bed every night not knowing if you're going to wake up in the morning. And that's no way to live. The problem is half the doctors didn't, had never even heard of it. In fact, the, the, the coroner that did the autopsy on my grandson had never heard of Brugada syndrome. The doctors that we've talked to that treated our children say there's nothing that we can really do except get them tested once a year. The goal of the Genetic Arrhythmia Clinic is to research and gather information on these family members and patients with these arrhythmias so that we can learn over time how to treat them better. We bring these experts together in the center uh, to better the outcomes in patients who have a variety of conditions. The Genetic Arrhythmia Clinic and the arrhythmias that we treat in it are very similar to the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy clinic started by Dr. Barry Marin. Through his meticulous work and study of those patients, we have many questions answered, and he leads the world and teaches the world on how to take care of those patients. These dollars that are invested in research have returned many fold, 10, 20, or 50 times. We hope over our time, our genetic arrhythmia clinic can achieve the same. I'm just very grateful that somebody is finally paying attention. I think the most amazing thing is to finally have somebody care about our family. We do know that if we can prevent sudden cardiac death in these patients, their outlook is wonderful. They can live out a virtually normal life. These aren't going to have answers tomorrow, or, you know, in our lifetime. All the answers, but if we can make progress. They're getting closer. Hopefully they'll figure it out one day. That's my hope is that someday this is, um, that this is no longer a disease that anybody has to worry about. <laughs>